It is Black History Month, and there is a beautiful new exhibit on display at a local gallery. Stephen joins us now. He is the coordinator of the Urban Arts and Culture Program for the URI Providence Campus. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks so much for joining us. And you're joining us from the gallery, yes? Yes, I am. Yes, uh, the, the gallery, it's part of the University of Rhode Island's College of Education and Professional Studies at the Providence campus, which is at 80 Washington Street. And the gallery is in the first and second floor lobby of the building. It's the old Shepherd's building for those who've been around Rhode Island forever. And, and then also the arts and culture program includes um, performances and other kinds of events. They're all about uh, diversity and understanding of different cultures uh, that are part of our community and our world with art from the community and from around the world. And, um, and then, then also focusing on social justice issues. And, and let's talk a little bit more about that, Stephen. Do you feel like now, more than ever even, or at least, you know, it's come to the forefront of so many minds of, of diving into different cultures, learning more about those around us, uh, learning more about our own heritage, if that's the case. Do you feel like your students are becoming more interested in these topics now? I think so, and, and I, I certainly feel that the community as a whole, outside and in, are much more aware of it and need to be much more aware of it. Yes. But I've always had a, a real passion for that. We live in Rhode Island. We have this rich, multicultural tapestry of people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. and, um, what better way to experience different cultures than through their art and it expresses their, their, the important issues for them and also the richness of their culture. And with, with so much enmity at the moment, I think that's even more important for us to develop greater understanding and appreciation for each other. And you have a beautiful exhibit on display right now. What is it called? Yes, it's celebrating Nixon Leisure 25 years of art from Haiti to Rhode Island. Nixon is a, a, an amazing man. Um, he grew up, he was born and grew up in Haiti and was educated in art and taught there. He came to Rhode Island and discovered that his art degree meant nothing. And so he had to learn English. And then he went to the University of Rhode Island and got a, a Bachelor of Fine Arts and Studio Art at the University of Rhode Island. So I've known him for uh, probably about 10 to 15 years, and I've shown works by Nixon. Um, his, um, the last year, I, he was picking up some art, and I said, so what are you up to? And he said, well, it's my 25th anniversary of being an, a professional artist. And I, he said, I would like a solo exhibit. And I said, Nixon, this is a big place. And he said, yeah. I said, I'm going to need a lot of artwork. And he said, yeah, how many? And I said, 120 paintings. And he gave me 120 paintings. Wow. You know, there's going to be plenty then to, to look at and to experience throughout this exhibit. Um, it's, it's on display, actually, for, for quite some time. We have, we have plenty of options to go and, and see it and experience yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Through, right through the end of February, February 24th, actually, um, it's, it's up now. It, we opened it uh, last week, um, but it, uh, right after Martin Luther King uh, Day. But, so it's up for six weeks, really. And uh, again, open Monday through Thursday, 9 to 9, and Friday till 5, uh, not on the weekend or holidays. And the, the only requirement is you must wear a mask. Yes, but it is free that you said, and I know a lot of us are, are searching for different activities that we can do, especially in these colder months, we want to experience it. How would you describe Nixon's artwork? Nixon's artwork is very varied. It tends to be a little bit more on the abstract side, but he's very passionate about nature and also about people. Um, he, his work is infused with um, images, Haitian images, um, he became known as the banana leaf man because he often incorporates a banana leaf as in, in, the, um, in the paintings. They're all 
vines that are, are hanging from the trees that sort of come throughout. There are other sort of motifs that are from Haiti. Um, he's, his concern for the African diaspora, his concern for the social conditions in Haiti. So some of the pieces are more, more politically related, but there's a whole wall of, uh, to my, over to this side, uh, that's all musically based because music is so much a part yeah. of culture um, and it's very colorful and very vibrant. Um, yeah. The darker ones, darker color and darker theme are vibrant and alive with energy and um, excitement. It, well, it sounds like it's going to be a bright spot to our day whenever we go and experience it. And through 120 images, I feel like we're definitely going to come away with maybe a, a better feel for the culture. Like you said, a, we're going to see those vibrant colors. We're going to see a bit of the history and the music and, and a lot of a lot of um, his inspiration there. So, Stephen, thank you so much for kind of setting the scene for us and, and telling us all about the exhibit. Thank you so much. I'm glad you could come to the gallery. Yeah, we're looking forward to checking it out. If you want all of the details, we'll post them up on our website, roadshow.com.